Welcome to Science Class with Ma'am Chen. In this video, we are going to talk about incomplete dominance and co-dominance pattern of inheritance. To start, study the pictures and identify what is common among them. The pictures show the non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance. Non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance does not follow Mendel laws of inheritance. That, when two different alleles are present, only dominant allele will be expressed. Example, a cross between red and white flower. Let us use the Punnett square to show the cross and determine the probability of possible phenotype and genotype of an offspring. Let us use capital letter R for the allele of red flower, which is the dominant allele, and small letter R for white flower, the recessive allele. Based on the cross, in Mendelian inheritance, the possible phenotypes of all offspring are all red, since red is the dominant allele. The phenotype of recessive allele does not exist. While in non-Mendelian inheritance, the possible phenotype of all offspring is pink. The dominant allele for red flower is not completely expressed with the presence of recessive allele for white flower, which can result for a new phenotype. And in this cross, the new phenotype is pink. This non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance is called incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance defined as pattern of inheritance in which one allele is not completely dominant over the other allele, resulting in a new phenotype. Let's have another example of incomplete dominance pattern of inheritance. A cross between two pink flowers. Again, we are going to use big R and small r for the allele of pink flower. Based on the cross that we have here, the probability of an offspring genotypes are 25% big RR, 50% small r, big R, and 25% small RR. The possible phenotypes are red for big RR, pink for big R, small r, and white for small RR. The offspring phenotypes probability is the same as the genotypes. Remember that each square in the Punnett square is equal to 25%. Next, another non-Mendelian inheritance is what we call co-dominance. The prefix co meaning together is added to the word dominance, which means both alleles are expressed. Let us examine this cross between red and white flower expressed in a co-dominance pattern of inheritance. As you can see, the phenotype of an offspring in this cross is 100% red and white or what we call speckled flower, where both phenotypes of parents' alleles are expressed at the same time. Another example of codominance pattern of inheritance is a cross between black and white chicken, resulting in ermine chicken, or black and white chicken. Remember, the allele symbols may vary. You can use different letters. You can also do exponents, but must stick in the key concept. In complete dominance again, one allele is not completely dominant over the other allele, 
resulting in a new phenotype. While codominance, where both alleles are expressed at the same time, neither allele is dominant over the other. These patterns of inheritance can help the plant growers and farmers to improve the breeds of their plant and livestock. It can also help them to increase the quality and productivity of the plants and animals they grow. Now, let's have a practice. Determine the pattern of inheritance that is expressed in the following cross. Just tell can complete dominance or co-dominance. So, this is the end of our discussion. I hope incomplete and codominance pattern of inheritance is already clear to you. Again, this is Mom Janie Chavez, your teachers for today, and happy learning!